let's talk about how you can create a new figure type, as they're called. In the file menu, you can pick create figure type, or you can click on edit here to edit your figure type. Figure types are built from lines and circles that are called segments. Here are your choices up here. There is a limit of 255 segments per figure. After building a figure type, it can be saved as an STK, STK file and you can share it with others or add it to your animation. It also can be added directly to your animation by doing add to animation in the file menu. Information about your figure is down here. How many segments, how thick the line is, how long it is, so on and so forth. The controls are as follows. So if I want to add a circle or a line, here is circle, see it says add circle, and here is line segment. So I want to add a line, I click on it, and you have to click on the joint or the handle where you want it to be attached to. I click and I drag out and I can make his arm more like a lightsaber. And then I click again to drop it when I want it to end. I click on the circle and the circle's trickier. You click on the handle and you see a little blue circle. You keep holding down the click and it makes the circle bigger. So now I have my circle and on my line. Oops, remember click again to make it set. If I want to change a segment, whatever segment I'm selected, it can toggle back and forth. So this is the toggle segment kind. So if I have it selected, notice I've got the red dots. If I toggle back and forth, it goes between line and circle. If I click on this segment to select it, watch what happens toggles back before line and circle. So it doesn't just apply to the things that were created, but you need to make sure that you see it is blue, see the selection blue, and it will now toggle, change back and forth. You can fill a circle by selecting a circle. It wants to let me select it, which of course it's not. Hello, there we go, sorry. Fill. So what it's going to do, it's going to fill the color that was chosen. So if I select something else, you'll notice it fills it in black. The reason why I look blue is because the blue tells you that it is selected. So their colors are solid white, clear, which means nothing in it, and solid. The solid fill will be the same color as the figure when changed in animation, but the white fill will always remain white. You can also duplicate a segment by clicking on a segment. Here's duplicate. You don't see it, but I can click it and move it, and now I have another segment. And I can add it where I want to add it. You can change a segment thickness by clicking on a segment and using the arrows to make it fatter or to make it thinner. You can also, if you have a really long segment, you can split it. This is the split, the segment. So watch. I click and notice it divided it right in the middle. And now this is the segment is selected. So if I click split again, it'll split it again. This allows you when you're moving to have more spots for more flexibility of moving. If you want to delete a segment, make sure the select, correct segment is selected and click the X and it will delete the segment. So if I wanted to delete this big circle, I click on one of the handles or the joints and it deletes the whole thing. So those are some basics of creating your figure and how to use the different features. One final thing, edit. Under edit, there's something called edit mode. If it is checked off, that means you can move a joint and notice the whole figure is not moving. That is when edit mode is on. You can tell it's on because you have a check mark. When edit mode is off, watch what happens when I move joint. 
the whole figure is moving. So if you find the whole figure moving and that's not what you want, check up here under edit mode. If the box is, if edit mode is not checked off, you don't have a little check mark next to it, like this, that just lets you move these pieces, then the whole thing moves.